Okay, so this is the Fisher Price uh, Creative Microphone. It does need two, uh, oh, actually a nine volt battery. So uh, it has a stand so that you can kind of hold it up. Not necessary. Turn it on by turning this disc. And I will put it into Melody. So again, you gotta kind of flick this thing. Melody, and it will play a pre-done tune. So I'm going to just turn it off. Uh, here's another one. There's Jaka. So that's Melody. I think there's eight of them. Um, just going to cancel that. Yeah, so there's eight of them. Uh, when you put it into play, you play, obviously. I'm honestly not 100% sure of what these things do. So that's play, you just play whatever you want, right? Okay. Record, you you play, and I don't know, I'm sure there's a limit to how many notes you can do, but. Put playback, and you hit the little Whatever the heck. Okay. And then you can obviously, I think you have to go back to record. And I think, let's see. So let's see if that re recorded. Okay, so that's how you do that. So another nice thing is you can actually do a pause as you're playing. So you can do, you'll do hit this once for like almost a pause. I'll hit it twice for a long, or three times for a longer pause. And then, then, much pauses. Let's hear how that sounds. All right, so now I'm gonna show you how you can play back over a radio. Since it's an old school thing, I have an old school boom box that I'm gonna do it on. Um, one of the things to look at is on the back. Uh, you can barely see it, but it says FM radio control. And you can turn this to point to the channel that you want to uh, basically sing over, okay? What I've seen is it's not perfect. Like you're going to see in a minute that I have it right now set to 100. Um, and I'll put this on in a second. You're going to see it. You got to play with it a little bit. So it's not perfect. So I'm going to put on radio. So I'm going to tune it to 100. So you can see it's on 100. Hello, hello. And it's not working. But what you do is if you turn... I'm going to turn that down so you can hear me. So, so it seems like it should be set, but it's not. But what you're going to do is with the volume up, you're going to play with this. And at some point, you're going to hear uh, either the volume go down, the fuzz sound go down. And that's, a, that's the um, indication that you're on the right uh, channel or you've connected, basically. Or you can do that. You can put it real close to the speaker and you get that feedback. Hello, hello. Testing one, two, three. Testing one, two, three. Testing, testing, one, two, three. And so you can see um, that it does work. So you got to play with that. But now if I turn it off and I turn this off because I'm done singing for the day and I come back tomorrow and I want to do the same thing, it should still be tuned in. Hello? Yes, it is still tuned in, so that's just pretty fantastic. Um, so again, you gotta play with it a little bit. If I look at this, it's at like 102. On the dial, it's at about 100. So the point is you will have to play with it a little bit, but it does connect. You get a decent thing. Uh, the one thing that I couldn't do is get it to play music. I couldn't tune in a station with music and then sing over the music. Seems like you should be able to do that, but I was unable to do that. If 
you know something that I don't, make sure you leave a comment. So we were able to get it to tune into you know, kind of our usual stereo. We did have a harder time with it. You had to be pretty close, but um, you are able to do it. Um, I think, it's, yeah, but the further, if I'm farther away from the thing, it doesn't work. So you have to be relatively close, relatively close to the tuner. Maybe if we had an antenna or something, it would work better. So uh, you can do it, but it's not, hello, it's not as easy.